Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm sorry, but today's video actually starts from the second layer of the painting. I had some technical issues and I didn't realize that I was having issues with my streaming that day. Well, if you are new here, I would like to ask you to subscribe, we just take a second and enable the ring button so you can receive notifications whenever I release new content. Uh, today I have a new skin, a new overlay for the Twitch. I decided to let for most of my paintings the reference so the person can have an idea of what I'm trying to achieve. And I am also trying to experience creative ways to work with the painting. I still want to have pieces, usually it's going to be the face, very uh, realistic, at least as much as I can, and I'm always trying to push a little bit further. And have something else to contrast, something with interest or in the background or on the other part of the painting. In this case, uh, I wanted to make a part rustic, and the part delicate with the realism. And it was really nice when I, I started to apply the ink very roughly, I hope I said right, uh, with the black to make the threads, threads, well, to make the hair. And it came out really nicely. And actually the texture of the canvas made a really nice style on the jeans jacket. It really looks like jeans. And I have the impression that I forgot to prepare that canvas. I already buy the canvas fabric already primed, but it comes with a lot of texture yet. So I always give some other coats of gesso. I thought that I had already done on that one, by, but by the how deep it was the texture, maybe I didn't. The only difference that it makes, in my opinion, is that when you want to do something more realistic, you have to put more ink. So let's say you waste a little bit more of ink so you can have more control on the second layer or third layer. Because you aim to do something and then there is a, a little small hole that's missing ink and whenever you put a little bit more, maybe pass a little bit over that hole and you are always fighting with the small details. So if you really want to do uh, the, let's say, the extra level of realism, the more smooth, the more perfect it is the superficie that you are painting at, easiest it's going to be. I imagine that painting on top of wood must be delicious. I still didn't do that yet. I, I am waiting for this pandemic to end so I can go to a hardware store and buy some and ask to cut. But I think it's going to, it's going to be much nicer. I already saw some artists commenting that they hate to paint on canvas fabric, but they love to paint on wood. So. I have a feeling that it may be a path where I won't come back. Well, back to that painting. You can see by the reference that it was kind of bluish. I had the idea to make her skin kind of bluish to everything with a cold atmosphere, but it didn't come out with the blue that I wanted. Either way, I did love I love how it came out, so I didn't want to change. On the background, I actually pass acrylic. Most of the paintings I am starting with acrylic on the background. I just use it a card to apply like that because I wanted more, more marks as possible, alternating between blue and white. And then in the end, because I thought it was too bright, the blue, and I didn't want to call so much attention, I passed just a, a few pieces with gray, the same gray that I used on the skin of the lady. And, well, I don't think I have anything else to comment on that one. 
it was really hard for me to make the mouth she had the mouth actually it's not flowing sparkling a lot it looks like she had some gloss and also it's very the exposure is very high on some parts of the mouth so i needed to make a lot of marks and i didn't feel so confident that i got the right proportions the right the right thing that i wanted to do but either way as as a whole thing the composition looks really nice and i am building more confidence to start performing commissions and setting more out there I am with the Red Bubble store. Every painting once is dry enough to be scanned goes to that store. That one is not going to be a ex exception. And I am going to start offering the commissions very soon, just waiting for this whole situation to calm down and border restrictions should be left out. Let's see. Well, uh, I hope you did like this video. I'm sorry that there was just the second layer. <laughs> and the, sec the next painting is not going to happen that, I'm s I swear. And if you have any questions, technique, uh, anything, my setup, just feel free to ask. I would love to be useful and be able to give some tips.
Oh, if you liked this video, please remember, leave a feedback, comment, like, subscribe and click on the notifications button so you can know when I release more content. Thank you and have a great week. Bye-bye.